Hi guys, Korean movie recapped here. Before we start. Warning spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a Korean crime film released in 2016, A Violent Prosecutor. This movie is a story about a prosecutor who pursues the truth to prove himself innocent after being suspected for killing a gangster during his interrogation. He is falsely prosecuted for 15 years in prison. Behind the bars, he prepares a plan to get out from the prison and counterattack on those who framed him. How do you think he will do it? Let's find it out. The movie begins with a group of activists participating in a protest to oppose a land development called ASIN project that causes environmental pollution. But then, a group of gangsters pretending to be the part of activists come and intentionally make some chaos, causing a clash between the activists and policies. One of the gangsters, Suk, hit a policeman till death. Suk is brought to the police office and interrogated by Byun, a highly temperamental prosecutor who often uses violence during his interrogation. Byun asks Suk so many questions to uncover the mastermind of the chaos, but Suk doesn't answer it clearly. With an inhaler to help his breathing, Suk keeps talking nonsense. Byun starts to get annoyed with Suk and hits him. The next day, Byun comes back to the interrogation room and finds that Suk is dead. As the last man who visited and hit Suk, all the evidence indicates Byun as the prime suspect. At his first trial, Byun defends and claims that Suk's death was caused by his breathing problem. However, Suk's friend, Jigun, testifies that Suk was the strongest amongst the others and he didn't have any breathing issues. Furthermore, the inhaler that Suk used before is not found in the crime scene. Byun has no powerful evidence to prove him innocent. Consequently, he is convicted for 15 years in prison. In the prison, Byun is bullied and beaten by prisoners whom he prosecuted in the past. One day, Byun saw his superior as well as an assistant prosecutor general, Gil, participating in the ASIN project's opening. He even resigned from his position to run for mayor of Pohang. Byun notices that something weird has happened. He remembered that Gil promised to help him out during the trial. However, Gil didn't say any word and just let Byun be prosecuted. Byun realizes that he has been betrayed by Gil. He has no choice but to live in the jail with all inconvenience and hardship. However, due to his expertise and experience in legal matters, he solves guards and officers' legal problems. He even helps out some prisoners to get sentence reduction. This gains him a special position and privilege in prison. Furthermore, the prisoners begin to respect him and are loyal to him. Five years later, a young fraudster, called Wan, gets imprisoned and eventually meets Byun. Byun finds out that Wan might relate to Suk. One day, Byun offers him help to get out from the prison but in return, he must help him to counterattack those who framed him. Wan agrees. Back then, Wan was a jobless man who just got an unspecified job. He then met Suk as his colleague. Until one day, one, Suk and the other men were sent to the ASIN project, disguised as the activists, to disrupt the demo. They were paid by the gangster boss called Yong, to cause some chaos so that the activists failed to oppose the ASIN project. After knowing the truth, Byun plans a well-thought-out strategy to face the big guy. He tries to catch Suk's real murderer from jail with the help of one as his con artist. To carry out his plan, firstly, Byun must get one out of the prison. After finding out the loopholes of Wan's case, he eventually can get him out of jail. Wan immediately visits Jigun who testified in the court back then to dig up some information about Suk's breathing problem. Byun is suspicious since the inhaler that Suk used went missing. When Jigun is getting drunk, Wan begins to record their conversation. He unconsciously admits that he gave a false testimony about Suk's health condition. He explains that Suk was indeed very weak and had asthma. Without his inhaler, he could die instantly. Jigun also says that he was ordered by Yong to falsely testify. The recording is then smuggled into the prison and given to Byun. Byun starts to prepare his documents to grant a retrial. Byun finally sends his documents to the court with the recording evidence. Yong finds it out first and directly reports to his boss, which is surprisingly Gil. It turns out that Gil, Byun's superior in the attorney, is the mastermind behind it all. At the beginning, Gil ordered Yong and his men to disrupt the demo, but unexpectedly Suk killed the police. Gil, who was running an upcoming election back then, was afraid that Suk might reveal the fact that the chaos was planned and ordered by him. 
He then decided to visit the interrogation room, beating up Sook and getting hold of his inhaler, leading to Sook's death by suffocation. After killing Sook, Gil gets rid of the evidence by throwing away the inhaler. Back to the present, one begins to worry about his own safety since his friend, Jigun, has been badly beaten after he slipped out about the truth. However, Byun calms him down and asks him to investigate Gil's financial report. One then participates in Gil's campaign as a supporter. He gets a chance to befriend a girl who works in Gil's finance department. One gets closer with the girl and successfully captures Gil's confidential financial statement. The next day, Gil's financial statement is released to the media. It is revealed that he receives suspicious funding from ASIN Project's owner. Leading to a conclusion that Gil is bribed to succeed the ASIN Project. On the other hand, Byun's retrial application is rejected by the prosecutor, but Byun convinces him and explains that his statement back then was provoked by Gil who promised will help him out, yet resulted in him going to jail instead. The prosecutor begins to distrust Gil and approves Byun's retrial application. The next day, Gil is informed about Byun's retrial approval, making him very mad. He does various ways to thwart Byun's retrial. He bribes the warden to destroy all Byun's documents in the jail so that Byun can't focus on preparing his retrial. Not only that, Gil also commands Yong to beat and kill one. When Yong is about to hit one using a hammer, fortunately, a group of police come to rescue. On the day of the retrial session, Gil bribes again the Wanda to stab Byun in order to prevent him from going to the court. One gets very panicked while Gil seems very calm. However, at the very last minute Byun shows up looking fine. With the help of one as the witness, and the attorney in trial, they finally can drag Gil to testify in the court. Gil answers all the questions very well and he gets his own alibi to prove his innocence. Byun then brings up a recording of conversation between Gil and another man about the inhaler that disappeared five years ago. The recording is stopped and Byun takes out an inhaler, claiming it is Sook's inhaler that went missing. Gil spontaneously responds that it is fake. Gil has been trapped by Byun's statement. If he can claim it is a fake inhaler, it means that he precisely knows where the real one was. Byun continues the recording and it is revealed that the real one has been thrown into the Han River. Gil cannot say any word. The prosecutor sentenced him for murder and covering up all the mistakes all these years. At the end of the story, Byun stands up in front of the court admitting he was indeed a violent prosecutor in those years back then, however those five years he had served in prison was sufficient to cover his mistakes. He has already paid the price and he is ready to return back to society. With a big contribution from his partner, one, Byun is finally released from the prison with pride. Do you think it is an epic revenge plan by Byun and one? Leave your comments below. And also make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.